Click the links to support the channel or send me stuff you want me to read or talk about. Mark Wade feels that perhaps diversity is not our strength after all. Did Mark Wade and Kwanzaa break up? I think Wade realized that they dug themselves into a hole with their characters. They created a bunch of terrorists who use violence and intimidation to remove civil liberties from innocent people. There is no way that these kids are the good guys. This is issue 8, and the characters just keep getting worse. The adage is, your heroes have to be heroic, and it helps if they're likable. The problem is, Mark Wade is a sociopath, and Kwanzaa is probably retarded. They're both very, very unlikable. Maybe I shouldn't have said that word. Maybe I should say, uh, autistic bundle of sticks. I guess there is a way to save the story. If at the end, these kids find a way to remove their powers and realize that children are too immature to have abilities like this. But that will never happen. Wade has zero self-awareness. The story starts eight months ago with the issue of arming teachers. People were having peaceful assemblies, as is their constitutional right enumerated by the First Amendment. You know, expression, press, religion, assembly, rule, uh, redress of grievance. And Wade and Kwanzer cannot allow people to have rights to expression, because what if people say something that goes against the narrative? So the terrorist kids violently attack the parents who are there just because they're worried about their kids. I guess Wade doesn't have kids, so he doesn't understand the concept. It's weird. Wade doesn't have kids, but he thinks he knows how to raise yours. That's the story's central concept, that the children want to remove the civil rights from the parents because the people who believe in free expression are now alt-right. Except Wade never defines that term, which is clever, because very few would hit, fit the definition. There is never going to be an alt-right in America. America is going to be a Mexican majority in 20 years. The most the right-wingers could hope for would be to fight for a few states, which will never happen, because Americans' modern bread and circuses are pizza and video games. Empires fall. The Europeans, at least in America, had their time in the sun, they built amazing things, but their downfall is that they were too tolerant. They allowed people in their countries whose only goal is to rot the nation from the inside. You can't tolerate people who hate you. Whenever I see one of those coexist bumper stickers, uh, these people are behind Marxism, feminism, open borders, everything that leads to the downfall of civilization. Europe and America made a huge mistake in not excising them like the cancer they are. To people like Wade and Kwanzaa, the right just means anyone who disagrees with them on anything. If you believe in free expression, you're literally Satan. It doesn't exactly matter if Wade and Kwanzaa are commies or fascists. They are authoritarians. They believe things will be good if they are in charge. Or really, it doesn't matter as long as they are in charge. Except that Wade has a history of temper tantrums and throwing his toys around when he doesn't get his way. When people like Wade get into power, you end up with gulags and the Ukrainian holocaust. In issue 8, you have the adults acting like children who need the teenagers to lead them. The left loves kids like Hogg and Greta, as long as they toe the party line. The kids are on the run from the feds for their many acts of terrorism against peaceful, innocent people. In the prior issues, the kids blow up the house of a member of the media because the guy on the radio was calling them terrorists, simply because that is what they are. Mark Wade is showing you what he would do if he was in power. His characters then steal the guy's truck because the guy had the audacity to disagree with their acts of violence. The whole comic has the feeling of how do you do fellow kids all over it. The writers are over 40 and they are trying to write teenagers, but I guess they are completely unfamiliar with any. The kids don't act like teens, they act like Isis. None of the story makes sense. They live in a nation where school shootings are very rare. You know what is not rare? Gang violence, i.e. inner city crime among POCs. You think Wade wants to address gang violence? No, because gangs aren't white, which destroys it. Well, except in Marvel and DC Comics, then you'll find that every gang is magically blonde hair. 
Really weird. Really weird. Which um, destroys his F. Whitey narrative. Most criminals... Ooh, do I say this? No, I don't say that. Let's get that. Uh, it's why the alt-left has to invent the straw man of white man bad. It's nonsense, and we all know it. The story is set in Arizona. 90% of the crime there is by people whose origins are from south of the border. I wonder why Wade doesn't talk about that issue. Really makes you think. There are scenes in comics that immediately take you out of the story. Ignited has several. They blur out swear words, and one of the characters will say feck, F-E-C-K, instead of swearing. It's unbelievably stupid. If these super-powered kids hate Liberty Devices so much, why don't they go to Chicago, St. Louis, Dallas, Los Angeles, and take away the Liberty Devices from... I won't say that, and I won't say that, from those people. Instead, they attack the white parents who want to protect children because Mark Wade loathes the beautiful people of the light. Uh, another thing these comic people do is they make the men and women almost the same height because biology is like the patriarchy or something. What do they say? It's all a social construct. Gender is a social construct. Race isn't real. It's all social constructs. All right, maybe. Uh, maybe gender. Is a, I don't give a rat's ass about gender. What about sex? Is sex a social construct? I meant, I meant, I meant gender identity. But but we're talking about sex. No, 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 no. We're talking about gender. Okay, well, all right. I get it. I get it. Why not just, uh, you know, make the bathrooms uh, split by, you know, a binary according to sex. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so uh, what's that guy they, uh, the Gripers went and asked? So uh, what's the advantage to having... Uh, I won't say it. <sighs> what would it be like if this platform had free speech? Wow, it would be a whole different world. Um... If there is any opportunity, uh, and let me let me just say, uh, live streams are going to be interesting. Uh, if there's any opportunity for an F. Whitey chance, Wade will take it. Whenever one of the characters has to be portrayed in a negative light, it will be a white one. Oh, and there's one and only one funny scene at the end. Here's the thing about beards. Uh, you can have one and look cool, or you can have one and look like a, uh, just a, Soy boy, a guy who listens to uh, what is it that public broadcasting stations it has a, a Prius with the coexist bumper sticker? That's that's this guy right here. This dude's not ex military or anything else. And you know, giving him little furrows in his brow doesn't make him tough, it just makes him a soy boy with a beard who's the same height as all the women. In fact, everyone is almost the same height, which is okay. This is what I was talking about. Uh, most chicks, I think, are average are 5'3", and most dudes are probably 6 foot, maybe 5'11", so none of this makes sense. But thank God you've got the soy boy who's shorter than everyone. He's drawn in the background to look like a total soy. Oh, uh, look at that evil white face. I don't know. Um, if there's an opportunity to make white people bad, look bad, then Mr. Wade will take it. Oh, how do I handle this? Delicately, I guess I can't. I guess I can't. Ah, uh, there's... Uh, there's so much I wish I could say. Um, maybe live streams. Maybe live streams. Maybe live streams. Uh, so this ghost, this floating creature, shows up to... Uh, oh, there's another thing these idiots do. is they, they take these cliche lines from movies they always hear, and one of the most overused line or phrases is the phrase, stand down. It's like... One person heard it in a movie and they decided to repeat it over and over and over again. You're not going to tell a bunch of people with with liberty devices who are already on edge to stand down. That, that That's just not going to, it's not even going to register with them. All they're going to be looking for is, is if your hands are in your pockets or you have a weapon. And it looks like your hands are in your pockets and you're floating. Stand down. You heard me. You heard me. Stand down and not come anywhere near this building. So they, um, some reason, decide to shoot the ghost, which because they're violent sociopaths. Everyone in the comic is. I guess these are all white faces, except that one one guy who might not be white. So they're all violent sociopaths because that's what the people who commit the violence in America look like. What white people? Am I right? 
Oh, and heterosexuality is never the right answer. Dude, I could kiss you. Oh, I want you inside me right now. I could kiss you. Ah, uh, no, dudes don't say that. Dudes don't say that. This is not ever going to happen. Okay, so this is the member of the media, you know, the First Amendment enumerated right, uh, free expression, assembly, press, press. Wade cannot have somebody say words that he disagrees with, and they hate they hate free expression so much. Actually, that dude looks like a looks like Mark Wade, but less. This dude's probably more muscular. Anybody else between him and us, we chalk up to collateral damage. Ready to go kick his ass. That's the words of an ideological terrorist. We're ready to, to hurt the innocent people. Everyone's innocent. The radio DJ guy. The, uh, I don't know who's supposed to be, uh, who's that guy who's got cancer now? Um, they're all innocent. You're not guilty because you said words that Mark Wade disagrees with. And then these terrorists literally imprison the people who are helping them. It gives them an excuse to say, oh, okay, they were hostages this whole time. These are the adults in the room. These are the ones who are making decisions you should be listening to, and Oh, God, there's so much more I could say. Oh, it's just, just retard. Sorry. Um, really, 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 really dumb. They steal his truck, and Wade and Kwanzaa are on different levels where you think that these people are the good guys, and the guy who is defending his, uh, defending his property and possibly his life after he knows they blew up his house, he thinks they're probably coming here to kill him. The best outcome would be if he just filled them full of buckshot. Okay, Wade and Kwanzaa, they're on these different pages where they're seeing the world... Like, uh, I've heard the expression gamma, which is uh, there to replace beta, which just means... It's like these people... Okay, and when there's a F whitey scene, there's going to be an F whitey scene. These people are um, not necessarily dumb, but whenever there's a chance to undercut something, they will stab you in the back. They're always carrying a knife in their in their pocket that just has your name on it. You can never trust them with anything. And so he says, we failed as parents, so it's got to be the white guy who failed and not the Mexican dudes or the black guy. Here's another thing about uh, Arizona. I don't know if you've ever been there. I have. It's beautiful. You know, uh, a lot of uh, interesting formations. If you're into rocks, uh, Arizona looks like these people... Mm, actually more Mexican than that, less black. Um, Arizona doesn't have these these white people in it anymore. 50 years ago, Arizona had white people in it. Now Arizona's Mexican. The whole Southwest is, is Mexican. America, like I said, in less than 20 years, it will be a, um, a Mexican majority, a white minority. So that's something for you guys to look forward to. And these are the other fine books that are coming out. Mags Visagio, I think, is... Yeah, right or right. Mags Visagio. And uh, Little Badger, it means somebody's probably won 1,000th and 24th. And um, some purse puppy overpowered uh, black girl. Whenever you see a black girl on the cover, pick it up and read it because it's going to be just absolutely cringe. What is... Oh, what's this? Ignited. Number six, and this is number eight I'm talking about. Number six is 14... No, I'm sorry, 1419. 1419, buddy. Congratulations. $4. $1419, so it's probably 1000 now. Good job. Good going, you absolute douche. Just, uh, I'm going to say this. You know, can anyone imagine someone having sex with Mark Wade if you weren't paid a lot of money? What a... God, what a horrible, horrible thing. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, guys. If you want to send me stuff, uh, BiancaZombie62 at gmail.com. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Or I've got a P.O. box. If you want to send me something, just let me know so I can go check it. All right, guys. I will see you all next episode.